Do you have mismatched solar panels and want to know how to wire them together? This short video will show you how. Let's start with a brief overview of how to wire solar panels in series and parallel. Series wiring. This method adds the voltages of the solar panel together while keeping the current the same. For example, these two solar panels are 20 volts and 5 amps. When we series connect them, we get 40 volts and 5 amps. Parallel wiring. In this setup, the current from each panel is added together, but the voltage remains the same. For this example, we have the same solar panels of 20 volts and 5 amps, but when we connect them in parallel, we get 20 volts at 10 amps. When connecting solar panels with varying voltages or currents, it's crucial to determine whether their voltages or currents are similar. This decision influences whether we wire them in series or parallel. When your panels have the same current but different voltage, you need to wire your panels in series. This is because the voltage gets added up, while the current stays the same. You can see this in the following diagram. If we have two solar panels of 100 watts and 200 watts, the combined power is 300 watts. Notice that the voltage of both panels is different. One panel is rated at 20 volts and the other at 40 volts. If we wire the solar panels in series, the voltage will add up. We get a total of 60 volts and 5 amps. If we multiply this, we still get 300 watts. So this is a good wiring setup. When your panels have the same voltage but different current, you need to wire in parallel. This is because the current gets added up, while the voltage stays the same. You can see this in the following diagram. We have a 100 watt and a 200 watt panel for a total of 300 watts. The second panel has the same voltage, but has twice the current. Adding the outputs together, we become 20 volts and 15 amps. This is because in parallel the voltage stays the same and the current gets added up. If we multiply 20 by 15, we become 300 watts. This is the same power rating as the individual solar panels combined. Imagine you have three solar panels with different voltage and current ratings. Panel 1 is 20 volts at 5 amps, producing 100 watts. Panel 2 is 22 volts at 4 amps, producing 88 watts. Panel 3 is 18 volts at 6 amp, producing 108 watts. We will calculate their combined power output in two scenarios, when wired in series and when wired in parallel. In series, we add up the voltages and use the lowest current. So this becomes 20 volts plus 22 volts plus 18 volts multiplied by 4 amps equals 240 watts. In parallel, we add the currents and use the lowest voltage. This becomes 5 amps plus 4 amps plus 6 amps multiplied by 18 volts, totaling 270 watts. We can see that wiring in parallel is the best option. Keep in mind that when wiring in parallel, the current increases, so you need a thicker wire. If you have several panels laying around and want to connect them to one charge controller, try doing these calculations and see which one is best. If the voltage and current difference between panels are substantial, it's best to use multiple charge controllers. Check my video about multiple charge controllers for more information. After this, we will take a look at the hybrid connection. But first, I would like to invite you to download my 7 free solar diagrams. Ideal for people who are overwhelmed by off-grid solar power and want to draw inspiration from diagrams including wire and fuse sizes. Check out the first link in the description. In this example, we have two 50 watt panels and one 100 watt panel for a total of 200 watts. If we combine the two smaller solar panels in series, we become 20 volts at 5 amps. This is the same rating as the bigger panel. When we then connect these in parallel with each other, we become 20 volts and 10 amps at the output. If we multiply these, we become 200 watts. As previously mentioned, if the losses are too high, 
that it's better to wire to a separate charge controller. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Watch these videos next.